Trash Metal Greetings! Today we dig into the trash metal past of Finland uh, with three bands on one compilation. As the title already says, this is volume two in the series, if we can call it that. Uh, digging up some trash metal relics from bands in the past. Some of these bands have been, once again, activated later on, kind of like reunion stuff and whatever, but this is about just digging those relics uh, some 30 years ago. As the name suggests, this is from 1988 to 1989. And, well, three bands in question on a compilation, almost 70 minutes of metal here. So, without further ado, uh, let's take a look here. As you can see, the image here is very old school in the way it should be. Background is basically the same. Let's just unbox this for a proper look, removing the contents here within, tossing them around a little bit. First, here's the CD inlay. As you can see, uh, this is, you know, like a pieces of uh, posters of back in the days, seeing like days, starting times, bands, bands and all that stuff. So kind of a nice idea to just refresh those memories from 30 years ago. For example, I was too young to participate in these kind of gigs back in the late and 80s being a teenager. So this one has a terrific verdict with two demos, 1988 and 1989, and then Ashen for a seven inch and Sacred Crucifix uh, with yet another demo so all in all, 18 tracks full of trash metal. All these bands are from different part of, parts of Finland. Uh, Sacred Crucifix from the northern city of Oulu. Uh, Ashen from being near the Russian border from city known as Joensu. And uh, Terrific Verdict is from Helsinki, that is the southern part. So uh, location-wise, uh, very nice uh, idea to put all these different bands from different places together. And uh, while this might not just look familiar to all you younger generation there, this is speed metal logo as it was used back in the days. You might see it in different metal genres used as well, but that's not very common these days. So more art featured in the booklet. Let's take a look here. This is the nice looking cover. Very, very old school. So what is done here right is uh, how the layout is put here. You can see the demo covers, the original texts and whatnot, just as it was back in the days. As you can see, this was very DIY, you kind of do it yourself, very cheap ass kind of stuff. And I think it's very authentic. So nice work in this respect. Another nice thing in this, uh, Compilation is that it's very nicely mastered. That is, all the uh, sound levels and whatnot, they just, you know, work nicely. So it's not like some are lows and highs, but very pleasant to actually to be listening to this one. Now, music-wise, uh, I'm not going to go very picky when it comes to uh, the sound of sound here, because obviously these are demo recording, with the exception of Ashen, which is 7-inch EB. So it would be kind of a unfair to you know run my mouth about the sound here obviously demo recordings are very different than you know creating album beat budget wise or whatever and not to mention that this technology 30 years ago was a little bit different than nowadays pro tools and whatnot stuff so considering all the uh, time here that has gone since these recordings were originally done uh, I must say pretty well sounding you know all in all it's quite strong uh it's very different it kind of shows you how different things were back in the 80s already with the demo ones we're not talking about mainstream metal acts as such which then again, then again did also have a quite a bit of uh, you know different soundscape uh, compared to nowadays sound i mean if you just listen to early metallic and slayer or exodus or whatever obviously it's very different from the bands of today and in that respect, uh, these bands are not that weak. Actually, they sound quite nice. The only thing which is not, then again, so much a technical thing is that the vocalist of Ashen is not very good with his um, 
clean vocals. They are quite subpar, but totally understandable. It's when the bands are just, you know, figuring out which way to play the songs, how to, you know, sing through them and all that stuff. It's doable and it's only a couple of tracks, so it's not a big thing, but that is the weak link here. Now, Perfect Verdict, which has like um, almost, or pretty much has uh, like half of the recording, I think they are also dominating when it comes to the quality. Pretty much on the same level as with Sacred Crucifix, they are doing just old school thrash metal with lots of death metal uh, influences there. Sacred Crucifix here is actually very close to death metal. Think of like early death, you know, scream bloody gore. And you can pretty much hear that Sacred Crucifix is, I don't know if it's intentional, but it's kind of like very much going to the same direction. Some of the parts are more trashy, you know, like the pure trash, but there are lots of death metal elements. So it's kind of a curious to see how death metal kind of evolved from trash metal. Uh, I mean, you, I've been talking about this before in opinion videos. If you listen to early Cannibal Corpse, Death, Morbid Angel, and other bands of such time, you can pretty much kind of hear the trash metal background. But with these being, you know, kind of a trash metal band, it's kind of a funny to also hear the kind of a death metal influence here. So it's not that different, you know, not that big a step from one genre to another. Now, as a compilation, this one is a kind of a tricky. Obviously, it's just three more recordings and one cannot expect it to be on the same level as, you know, modern uh, metal releases. That is both good and bad. The thing here is, uh, while these bands are quite raw, they are very full of passion and energy, kind of like youthful ways to create this music. But then again, it's still just demo material. I mean... Uh, while it's kind of nice to know the first steps that were taken back in the days, it's still demo. Some people are always saying, oh, the first demo is the best, no matter if it's Burzum, Death, or whatever. But to be honest, many of us just enjoy the full albums more than demo material. Demos have their place in your listening experience or more in the compilation, kind of a creating your own record collection thing. So, uh, it's, it depends what you're expecting, what you are aiming for. If you're just aiming to collect, for for example, uh, all the recordings of Sacred Crucifix, then this would maybe suit your needs, especially if you are not that picky about the format. But if you're just kind of cherry picking, you know, the uh, best parts of any given thrash metal band, then this might not be your cup of tea. So kind of a tricky, way of uh, decide how much you need to own this uh, but definitely a nice window to years past and for those who never got any idea what was happening in the uh, Finnish death metal trash metal scene or whatever these kind of compilations are very essential to be out there just you know get the idea in a physical format not depending on some crappy YouTube uh, streams taken from tapes that are already worn out so with that information check out the samples there are youtube clips of these songs and then when you know you're gonna get it click to the stores of your favorite distribution and get on with it thank you for watching and as always looking forward to your comments opinions questions and whatnot see ya and take care